Welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is Daniel Rosal here. I've done a number of videos talking about how I find subtitles, watching videos with subtitles, a super enjoyable way of learning a foreign language. I've been living in Israel for seven years and uh, Hebrew, modern Hebrew is the predominant language here. I wasn't born in Israel, so I, like many people who moved to this country, are uh, students of Hebrew, which is actually a somewhat difficult language. So I find uh, learning through YouTube really, really easy. Um, if I can get into the content I'm watching, if I'm enjoying it, I watch a lot of any, pretty much any YouTube videos I can find that are in Hebrew with English subtitles. I just up uploaded a couple of videos uh, showing how you can also use videos that are subtitled in your target language, so whatever language you're learning. And then you can go into the auto translate uh, setting in the captions option and YouTube will actually generate a machine translated uh, translation starting from the actual translation file and going to whatever language you want to see. So in my case, English, maybe in your case, it's French. So between those two options for us language learners, I think it's fair to say that there's never been a better time to uh, be learning a language and having YouTube as this huge reservoir of content uh, that we can tap into in order to increase our vocabulary and just generally improve in the language. For this video today, I wanna to look at um, so just a couple of ways you can filter YouTube results in order to only pick up uh, videos that have a subtitle. Now, um, just what I wanna say about this firstly is that right now, firstly, uh, YouTube's user interface, the way the menus look, the way the site works is always subject to change. I watched a few old videos about how to do this on YouTube that were recorded six years ago. And some of those functionalities have already been deprecated or changed. So really YouTube can do whatever it wants. It's its website. Uh, we, can, we can all wake up tomorrow and none of this uh, information will apply. So that's just a kind of uh, proviso that, um, you know, this is only accurate as of the time I uploaded this video to YouTube myself. Now, um, I'm, I'm currently uh, watching this show called Lochmim. Um, it's, uh, now I, I realize not everyone watching this video can read Hebrew, uh, but so just to, if, if you don't read Hebrew, it's a right to left language and those are the characters um, of it. Um, but the important thing to highlight is how to find videos with subtitles. So right now, when you search on YouTube and if a video has subtitles, it's going to add subtitles next to just beneath the video description. Right now, the same thing applies for 4K. So if the video was uploaded in 4K resolution, it has that. Now I mentioned, you know, videos, YouTube changing the UI for a reason because I imagine that when 4K becomes in maybe five years time, every video is 4K to so the basis. YouTube will no longer be highlighting the videos as 4K. Maybe they'll be highlighting the 6K or 8K videos, you know? So, but right now at the time I'm recording this in 2022, this is the status quo. And uh, important to point out as well that when it comes to subtitles, if you're a language learner, there are really two types of subtitles on YouTube. The first one is what are called auto-generated subtitles. These are subtitles that YouTube um, now automatically generates on videos. So when I upload this video to YouTube, Sometimes it takes about 24 hours, but YouTube will listen to what I had to say and a algorithm will machine translate, generate a transcript according to what it thinks I said. Now, those currently are done on videos, but they won't show up as subtitles. When you are seeing subtitles in results, you are specifically seeing videos that had manual or human generated subtitles. Now, it doesn't matter whether those were added in the YouTube editor or the television station uploaded a subtitles file in SRT format, either way. But that's just to point out, so once you see subtitles, you know there is at least one good human authored subtitle there. And as I explained in a video I just uploaded, once you have at least one good human generated subtitle, you can then use auto translate to machine translate that into any other language and the accuracy is pretty good because machine translation has come on so much. So that's number one. Um, the second way you can do that is if you're browsing a YouTube channel like Can, who produced uh, this show. This is Israel's national state broadcaster. And again, if I click into videos, underneath every video that has subtitles, the subtitles box, 
appear. So I can ver I can very easily see without needing to go into every video. This does not have subtitles yet. This one does. This one does. This one doesn't. This one doesn't. This one does. Etc. Etc. Um, now the second uh, way that you can search for subtitles is keeping with the example of this uh, Israeli show called Loch Mim about the army is uh, by filtering for videos with subtitles. So you, after you uh, get to the results page, click on filters and then on the fourth column over, second from the right, there is features. And this allows you to feature filter on any YouTube feature. And one of those options is subtitles or closed captions, which is abbreviated CC. So I can click on subtitles CC and now YouTube will only return videos with subtitles. There is another uh, search operator. Now you can use these in combination. Unfortunately, uh, YouTube's search functionality for such a huge website is really, I was gonna say primitive, basic is maybe a kinder word. I can't combine one. So I can't say, hey, I want videos that are 4K and have subtitles. Or maybe I can, maybe I'm about to make a fool of myself. Oh, there you go, you can. So so the uh, primitive slash basic one is me. So uh, you can do that as well to search ones with multiple options. And then of course, um, if you also wanna combine that with a time filter, so let's say four to 20 minutes and over 20 minutes. Now, sorry, so I wasn't, I wasn't totally off the mark. You can combine features, but you can't combine uh, duration ones. So if you, if you want to see four to 20 and then over 20, you're gonna need to uh, load up two separate results pages. So it's a little bit inconsistent, uh, but you can do that. And that's a way if you're looking for a TV show, um, a series that someone uploaded to YouTube, some broadcaster, and you know that some of them are subtitled. So you can firstly turn on the subtitles feature method, and then you can know, well, you know, if we're talking about a TV series, it's not gonna be under four minutes. So firstly check four results in the four to 20 minutes category, next over 20 minutes and et cetera, and then you'll be done. So I hope that this information has been useful if you're also using YouTube to learn a uh, language, even though Hebrew, the language I'm learning, doesn't have the most content in it because it is in the grand scheme of things, a really small international language. This auto translate functionality works so well that it's made a real difference and I can find content with English subtitles and Hebrew subtitles and use both to uh, have those subtitles on and it really helps me um, as a language learner and it's a great way I can, I can watch a whole night of uh, YouTube content and be picking up uh, vocab as I go along. Thank you guys very much for watching this video. Hope it was useful to you. And if you do wanna get more videos from me on uh, this and other topics, do please consider subscribing to this YouTube channel. Thank you for watching.